warrant must be issued by a person who holds a judicial and a and a very prominent office. A justice of the peace or a magistrate. Okay? No. Is anybody here a justice of the peace? I'm not doing this to be facetious. Is anyone in here a justice of the peace? Does anyone here know how justice of the peace are selected? Anybody knows anyone that is a justice of the peace? Yeah. 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 In other words, if you <coughs> were to carry placards for me in my next campaign, I'm running the next election for you, three parties. Right. I'll be announcing my candidateship very shortly. If you carry black yards for me, I keep knowing I'm going to make you a justice of the peace. I'm just letting you know early. You will be able to give you something for your effort. You will be made a justice of the peace. Consider this power that is given to you over people's rights to be protected in their homes. Now, I am not here to say that every justice of the peace in Barbados is a political pimp. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying, however, is that there could be, and one of them is up. But having said that, it's saying the truth. Yes. Oh, shoot, I said. <laughs> 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 Oops. Oh, 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 oh. We live in a system in which politics determines who gets off. Say it again. But it's a fact. I, I, I'm in the mood that I can take a little off So I will go further. On Friday, I spoke with the Attorney General and I asked him, who is the new Chief Justice of Barbados? What is the position? He said, he's talking to the wrong body. So who I got to talk to? I got to talk from that. The law was changed a few weeks ago, no, two months ago now, to put a particular person in place who may be a good Chief Justice. Let me say that up front. But I would like one, I would like somebody to be there. I don't like this acting thing. I do acting on the side. They don't do acting in real life. I want to know who is the Chief Justice of Barbados. I want to know who is the JP in Barbados and why and how they get selected. In other words, you should select a JP on the basis of his ability to be neutral, to be fair. You go ask the police officer president. Some of these JPs, they can't even put on a plan. Much less give a proper account of whether a police officer has reasonable grounds to do something or not. I did a case recently before the Supreme Court in which a man was charged with money laundering because they found $60,000 under his belt. Now in that case, I get a, a search, good thing, uh, a search warrant was issued to search this man's home. Okay? It was issued by a justice of the peace. And a copy of that warrant, as is required by law, was served on the man. Okay? A pink copy. In other words, when the police come at you, they should read the warrant to you, they say a green copy, and then they would say, and here is the pink copy for you to keep. It's done by a uh, Carolyn paper. So that whoever on the first one got me on the second. So my client brought that paper and gave me. Okay. Maybe get in court now. And I look at the warrant and I hear what the police say. And the police were talking about a different date to what is on my warrant. Their warrant got on the fifth and mine got on the fourth. So oh, it's not making sense to me. So, are both warrants right? So I asked the police officer, Officer, how come you say that you made up my client on the fifth and you gave this warrant? I put out my warrant on top and I got on here marked before. How do you explain that? Oh, we went the day in front too. So you went the day in front, read this man house, 30 yards, and probably nothing, and then you went back the next day and probably 60 grand on these on these fellas. You don't really do. And so well, let me call the JP and ask she or he would work. JP Land. Or JP. How long you been in JP? 14 years. You should get your JP picked probably from from Owen. They can you can't be a friend there. I said, what are your qualifications to be a JP? I'm a good Christian woman. 
Have you ever refused an application by the police for a search warrant? Why would I refuse an application by the police for a search warrant? They will have to be very bad police. Oh, Lord. You are required by law, madam, to lodge every police log kind of information showing their reasons and their grounds. You are lodged one of them in the court every time you do it. How many have you lodged in the 12 year period? None. That's something that we have to do. Not one. Not one, Mark. Not one. Never lodge one yet. So what's the point in them? Now these people stand between you and the police. In terms of them being able to come and grab you from the road and say, let me go. Once they got that paper, you got to go. You got the right to resist that. Let me understand that clear. If they have that warrant and it's a legitimate warrant, what makes it legitimate? The signature of the JP. Who is the JP? Nobody at all. Your fault. Initially, the right to serve was something that was not, not, it was very difficult to get the right to serve. But by statute, you're entitled to serve any vessel or vehicle. Okay? Without warrant. Right? If you have reasonable grounds, the suspect. Okay? What makes your ground reasonable? Suspicious behavior, whatever. Things that we have to do. Okay? So you're in your car, you're driving on, police stop you, and you're trying to serve. If they have reasonable grounds. Okay? What would make those grounds reasonable? These are questions. Okay? This section, which is designed to protect the innocent policeman, and the innocent suspect has been held back from our laws from since September 1994 to today. Because, by the way, it was revisited again in 2005, and it was a decision that it appeared that it was going to be brought into force, but it hasn't been. So it's not that they completely forget about it. Section 72 was looked at again in a bill in 2005, along with some other things that were forgotten, that needed changes, and the rights were brought in. But Section 72 still had its time in cover. Yet to, yet to be brought in, okay? I just want to take a quick look now at a section of the Police Act that is designed to protect us. It refers to abuse of authority, section 32A. A member of the force shall not, one, treat any person with whom he may be brought into contact in the execution of his duty in an oppressive manner. Two, Without good and sufficient cause, conduct a search or require a person to submit to any test or procedure or make any unlawful or unnecessary arrest. Three, use any unnecessary violence towards any prisoner or any other person with whom the officer may be brought into contact in the execution of the duty or improperly threaten that person with violence or be abusive or uncivil to any member of the public. That's an excellent question. That means the police have to behave properly at all times. But wait in there. What's the point in it? What's the point in it? If you can't enforce it, I have some rules here, I probably some old rules from 10 years ago. But wait, police move me and they don't hide in me and what not, what not. This person might be a serial rapist. And a veteran in the system, he knows how to work the system. And therefore, he is able to convince the jury that he was the victim of police brutality. Although, the good police officer gave him every right, did everything to protect him, gave him every opportunity to say or not say, and he decided at that time to write a full confession, admit it to everything. So that's scenario one. That man is acquitted of the charge of rape. A very, very serious offense. He's acquitted because the jury believed his account. They did not believe the police. Like many modern Barbadians, they are more willing than say 19, 20 years ago when they started doing this thing to accept that the police could lie. 20 years ago, police did not believe, sorry, members of the public generally did not believe that the police would take up a bus, swear an oath, and lie. 
And you remember the judge said to me, Mr. Pilgrim, are you suggesting that the police in this case would be lying? I said, well, let it go, you understand, that was my job <laughs> in this case. Because police said my man do it, and my man said he do it. So if I'm not saying police lie, would you point my coming court? It don't make no sense. But things are changing now. People are willing to say, look, that lawyer could be a thief. You know, remember before people said lawyers don't steal people's money? <laughs> people get fired down now. <laughs> they get the point where they know they got some thieving lawyers up there. Same token, they got good police in our bad police. So we got scenario one, in which, take it as a given in my fact scenario, that the person committed the offense. Scenario two. Let's take a different crime. Let's say. Okay. Police arrive on a scene. There is gunfire heard. Police land and see Ross Philly. Ross Philly has had some brushes with the law over the years, and police are very concerned with Ross Philly's presence in an area where guns are being left, being fired. Police don't run in Ross Philly. Ross Philly has not committed any offense. He is what we would describe as the usual suspect. He says, officers, I ain't doing nothing. I just got here. I ain't telling like they're smoking my thing. But I ain't shooting nobody. I ain't had no gun. I know nothing about no gun. The truth is, I believe that that gun belongs to Franklin and Big Mouth, whatever. But he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. We heard that before, right? You roll in the wheel. No, huh? Go on the police station. Rapidly maintains his position. Not me, not me, not me, not me. Police officers, bad ones now, as opposed to the two good ones we had dealing with the other case, put some licks in Rapidly. Right? But they don't do it foolish. But they're idiots. They've got idiot police and they got smart police. You know, they do things to you that are not going to show them. They put a bag over your head, they spray some bag on it so you feel like you're going to pass up and do whatever. Okay? They do whatever they have to do. They stop you in the bottom of your foot. They do things that make you feel uncomfortable. You, know, you feel like you are oppressed. You lose your will. You are not happy. The first day pass. You ain't feeling good. You're hungry, whatever. You ain't get to see nobody. You ask them, I can call my lawyer. I want my lawyer. Who's your lawyer? My lawyer is that the strong. My man, you only pay big money to hear me two times. Relax yourself, man. <coughs> Another police officer come in to the man rat filling. You see them right there, the police by the door. I was trying to talk with them men, but them men looking to deal with you here. Talk with me, let me let me get with some folks. Talk with me. Talk with me. Talk with me. You had a little fire. You only shoot in the air. That's a big thing. Get me before the judge. You can get a little probation and you just go again. You know what I'm telling you? You lock yourself, man. You know, let me let them be making a back and get a sort of you. Huh? Thank you, there may be oppression in the sense of or it may be let me put you in a better so you will call it inducement. Any person whom we find lying or loitering in any highway, yard, or other place between the hours of eight o'clock in the evening and five o'clock in the morning and not giving a satisfactory account of himself. I call this the slave protection. What does it mean? Any person who finds himself lying or lying. So, let me assume that lying is, lying is a different. But so you don't want a fellow lying down in front of mom's place late at night. And maybe a leave drugs or whatever. So you find a man loitering in any highway. What does loitering mean? Let me put some function here. So oh, it was no, not function. It was like basketball in the so called broad broke out. Okay? There's a sign in the gym that says no lying in. I wonder how somebody will determine whether I'm lying or not for so bad. And why lying is something that would be so bad. Because to me, my interpretation, lying is really not working. That's why I call it a safe Because to me, the moment you are not working, I can take this arrest. Because my interpretation of loitering may be that I'm standing up. So if I'm standing up on the side road, which is a highway, or yard or other place. So other place was other place. I mean any way the police see you after eight o'clock in the night and between and five o'clock in the morning 
and you don't give a satisfactory account of your sex. Now this is not a police force, this is the law. So what is a satisfactory account of myself at 8.30 at Sharon and Mall? What can I, what would be guaranteed to the police, to, what would be the appropriate response to the policeman that will lead him to say, oh, you go. Well, you could say, I go and see the movie. Or you could say, well, say true, I just like it. In which case I suspect the police will be quite excited to arrest you. 